morning everybody. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you're excited for a new week of learning. And this morning our assembly is going to focus on jigsaw and we're going to be thinking specifically about our jigsaw chime. And I'm sure all of you have seen one of these in your jigsaw lessons and it makes a lovely sound. And, and our assembly is going to think about why we use it and why it's so important. Our assembly is also going to use some of our, or all of our jigsaw pieces. So I think in all of your classrooms, you have a jigsaw piece. This is Jem, he belongs to the year six class. Um, but all of you in your class have different jigsaw pieces of different colors, um, which are all slightly different shapes as well. So let's get on with the story. Oh, it moved. One day, Jigsaw Jem called all of his jigsaw friends together for a meeting. Jem asked all his friends to sit in a circle just like the children did in the jigsaw lessons. All the jiggies, that's what they called themselves, wondered why Gemma called them to a meeting and they chatted amongst themselves wondering what the reason might be. Jem called the meeting to order and said, Jiggies, I have been wondering about something for a long time now and I need your help to solve the problem. Jack said excitedly, Great, we're good at solving problems. What can we help you with? Well, replied Jem, I've been thinking about the jigsaw chime the children use in their lessons. There is something more we could be doing with it in calm me time, but I can't quite work out what that might be. All the jiggies looked very puzzled. They didn't know what Jem was trying to say. Jazz spoke up. We're not sure what you mean, Jem. All the children seem to like calm me time and the jigsaw chime. What more is there? Jenny said, before we carry on with the meeting, can I ask a question? All the jiggies nodded and Jenny continued. As you know, I learn with the youngest children in the school. And if I'm honest, I'm not sure why we use the chime at all. What's it for? Jem asked the jiggies if they could answer Jenny's question. They chatted to each other to try and find the answer. Jazz says, it helps the children learn to be calm. Joe said, it's peaceful. Gino said, it makes my ears tingle. Jenny thanked them for their answers, but said, yes, I know that. But why do we use the chime and do calm me time? All the while, Jez had been looking thoughtful. I think I know what you're asking, Jenny. Can I ask you a question? Jenny nodded and Jez spoke. Imagine that Jack had promised to play with you at break time, but he doesn't show up and you have to spend break time on your own. What would you think? Jenny replied, well, I'd be very surprised because Jack always keeps a promise. So I might be a little bit worried that he hadn't met me like he said he would. Jez said to the other jiggies, what, would they, what might they think had happened if Jack didn't show up for them? Jem said, well, I'd be disappointed that Jack had broken a promise. Okay, said Jem. So how might that make you feel? Jenny explained about feeling scared that something might have happened to Jack and Jem explained about maybe feeling grumpy with Jack. Jez asked, so how might you treat, treat Jack the next time you saw him? Jem replied, I'd be a bit off with him. I think. I don't like it when people break their promises. Jack suddenly started jumping up and down to get the Jiggy's attention. Hold on a minute. This doesn't seem very fair, he exclaimed. I might have a real reason why I couldn't have played with Jenny. It would be unfair of you, Jem, if you got cross with me. Perhaps I decided to stay and help someone with their learning, or maybe I accidentally forgot. Jez suddenly jumped in, did a little jig and said, and that's why we have calm me time. Do you get it? All the jiggies looked even more confused than ever and shrugged their shoulders. Jez explained, when we use the charm, it helps us to relax our bodies and our minds. We can use our breathing sometimes to help calm us down too. Sometimes we get thoughts in our head that make us feel worried or cross or angry or sad. 
Sometimes these thoughts get so big that they make us behave in very unhelpful ways. So if we can put a pause on our thoughts and feelings, we can stop that and think before we behave in a way that isn't helpful. If Jen was feeling cross with Jack, he might fall out with him, even though it wasn't really Jack's fault that he didn't show up. And Jenny might be worried about Jack for no reason either. If they both did calm me when their thoughts and feelings started to get big, it would help them not to worry or be cross. So we use the jigsaw chime and our special breathing practice to calm us down. All the jiggies looked very impressed with Jez. Is the chime magic then? Like Harry Potter? Joe asked. I can see what Jez is saying, Jen replied. It's not magic. But our brains are so clever and good at learning that, that the chime teaches our brains to help us get become calm and stay calm. If we practice calm time enough, our brains start calming down without us even realising every time our thoughts or feelings get too big. Oh, I get it now, nodded Joe. So we don't always need a chime to, a chime to practice calm time. Sometimes we can just imagine the chime or a calm picture or start slowing our breathing and down so our brains take over and calm down. And that really is a little bit like magic, isn't it? Gemma said, and that's what I was trying to say right at the start of the meeting. I said there was something we're not doing at calmy time. I've worked out now by everything we've talked about, we need to practice it. But in a different way, so we get used to doing it without the chime. The jiggy stopped and wondered, what way could that be? Have you got any ideas? We'll find out what the jiggies decide next time. But I wonder if now, as you've all got the chimes in your rooms, your teacher could have their chime and you could be practicing your, your calm time in class with the chime. Oh, I pressed it by accident. Maybe your teacher could practice it a bit with you before you go out to your break or, what, or your lunch or start your learning and it would calm you down so that you're ready for your next part of learning. And in our next assembly with Jigsaw, we'll find out other ways that we could be practicing our calm time without the chime, um, so that we can, our minds can learn to calm us down. I'm sure that some of us have already got strategies like that, using our breathing, walking away from a situation. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all soon.